Excellency. Just for, uh, but I think that you're talking about about our shared history. You're talking about uh, about our uh, of, the, how, of the legends that everybody knows and knows throughout the kingdom. And I know for a fact that this particular thing that I'm going to talk about has been talked in East Mid Realm. Ethel Mark, most everybody who's, uh, who's been there, here because it's one of the most legendary songs that homes of our in the world. That's what I want. Thank as far you. as far as shared ideals, we're talking field, we're talking fealty, we're talking uh, we're talking prowess. The, that's the way the guys are on the field, and we're also talking about the ability to survive the most vile and horrible conditions in camping that we and that everybody goes through, and it happens every single time. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder what this would be. Yeah. Well, that, oh, I, oh, this is oh, this is the is the great oh, the great Duke Moon Wolf's finest finest epic. Everybody knows it, but it but it dang well better be on the CD. I think it I think it's a, I think it counts. <sighs> everybody everybody uh, everybody should know the chorus of course in this August oh, body. So please feel free to sing along. And I, and I will do the annotated version. <laughs> and just so you know, I was at Pensick for. <laughs> we have we have someone who actually verified that it what? actually did happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, last year way out in Clepsons Rolex led us forth to war, so that we could fight the Easterners at Pensick number four. We march on out with knife and mace, with shortened axe and swords. The Eastern armies didn't, and that's how we won the war. Cause you can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest, the Eastern army learned to their dismay. No, you can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest, the extra steel keeps getting in your way. <laughs> Merowald, he sent the Harriers out to sneak and slash and run, to knock off Crown Prince Angus and to have a lot of fun. <laughs> our first footnote. <laughs> our, our two who main characters in this first verse, one, uh, one is, uh, is Mer has Merowald, now known as Duke Merowald, one of the pillars of the kingdom of Trimeris, but back in those days, no, primarily known as Bozo the Count. <laughs> Count Bozo was a man of immense hence will, so much so that one time when coming back from a hot summer's battle, he found his way impeded by the swimming pool. He did not want to go around, so he simply he walked out, dropped to the bottom, um, walked across the swimming pool while still in full armor, and walked out the other side. <laughs> Our other her, her, uh, heavy hit at this point is, is, is Crown Prince Angus, who, who back in the days when men were basically cutting out an eye slit in a, in a tin can and putting, on, uh, putting it on their head and calling that adequate head protection, <laughs> was, was known for having a pig face bassinet, which is to say a uh, heavy metal version of Woody Woodpecker. Oh. Long pointy snooty thing. These two men came to blow, whose hat slash slay, and somewhere or during the course of it, Angus took Hocus a mighty smote upon the noggin, with such force that he fell backwards, ricocheted off the nearest tree, and fell face first <laughs> into about nine inches of poly unsaturated. <laughs> with such force that he became stuck in the quagmire. <laughs> And it required the services of two burly squires to uh, reach down and extricate him from the ooze. Back to our regularly scheduled story. <laughs> to knock out Crown Prince Angus and to have a lot of fun, they laid their ambush cunningly and were sure they'd win the day till they turned around and found Eastern Army in their way. You can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest, not even when it's planned, it's a surprise. You know, you can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest. Ambush, ambush isn't very nice. Father Odin leased his wrath on us all through that grim campaign. He showered lightning bolts around and poured eternal rain. How bad was it? How bad was it? <laughs> the local rivers had already reached the 50-year flood stage before the weekend happened, and then it rained about nine inches during the actual event. It got so bad, apparently, that there were, there were spiders migrating on top of the tents. Now, this wasn't so bad. The worst part about it was that they were taking lightning strikes within 50 feet of the camp. This is exciting. You try walking around in a metal suit and go to a lightning storm and see how, and see how excited you get in these situations. We thought it quite entrancing as we marched from Bog to Fen till we saw a soggy cinder where the sergeant should have been. You can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest when all the heavens start to flame and spark. No, you can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest, unless you feel like glowing after dark. <laughs> we 
met the Eastern Army. Ain't drawn up out there in the mud. We fell upon them in the woods and turned it red with blood. Oh, the fighting, it was vicious as we closed in hand to hand. And then we hit the beehive and the corpses jumped and ran. <laughs> You can imagine this is the most important footnote of the song. <laughs> Somewhere during the course of this battle, a gentle missed his intended target, Fort scored a direct hit on a hive of something. Ooh. Exactly what the something was remains a bone of contention until this very day. <laughs> Bees, wasps, that's the yellow jackets. Personally, I believe the hive of the mythological northern oak and flying velociraptor have been found. <laughs> Whatever the case may be, these little boogers were suddenly everywhere, and they were taking revenge on anything that moved. Moonwolf himself apparently only took a couple direct shots to the arm, but had the good fortune to continue the rest of the battle in this manner. He got off easy compared to two gentlemen who will remain nameless for obvious reasons. Uh, one good gentle back in the day of really bad headgear was known for having a beautiful gothic spangle helm. It was beautiful, it was huge, it was ornate. It took five minutes to get on and off. That's not a good thing when, when you find out that your eye slits are big enough to let two of these little hummers in, but not big enough to let them out. <laughs> he was last seen heading up the hill at about Mach 5, pounding out the ample course on his temples with an equally beautiful pair of gothic gauntlets. <laughs> it gets worse, folks. Somewhere during the course of this battle, a gentleman who shall remain nameless uh, rhymed with cold comfort. <laughs> <laughs> took a direct hit in an area where uh, no good gentle should ever have to contemplate taking a direct hit. Uh, after a rather loud and violent exclamation, he was has basically heard saying, I've been stung! I've been stung! Uh, he was last seen headed up the hill at about Mach 0.5 in this general position, and Bystanders claimed he was praying because he was uttering the name of the Christian Savior extremely loudly. <laughs> you can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest. When you cut, he starts to swell and turns bright red. No, you can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest. The buzzing isn't coming from your head. We, well, we met the... We, we met the Eastern Arm. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I can't forget to set that final verse. We met the Eastern Army way up out in the mud and damp. We could beat the Eastern Army, but we couldn't find the camp. To top everything else off, the mid army got lost. <laughs> we finally made our way back home. And the final figure state, Little Kingdom 3, East 2, and Mother Nature 48. Because you can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest. I'm sick of fighting as the rain pours down. No, you can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest. I like steel, but I don't want to drown. No, you can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest. Jump like a fish, jump like a fork. Nah, doesn't work for Moonwolf, doesn't work for me. You can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest. Oh, yesu, yesu. You can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest. Psst. Hey, bud, is that a pair of dry socks? I have $50 in this hand and a knife in this one. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. <laughs> you can't swing a broadsword when you're in the forest. I don't mind steel, but I don't want to drown.